Now friends, let's create a practical number two, which is we have to design a login form using some CSS as well as some dev tag. So I'm just creating an application which will be my web application. Selecting a web application, ASP.NET web applications. And one more thing we have to use some server side control as well. So this is my practical number two. So this will be my web application. So I'm selecting an empty application. Okay. So you'll find here there is no default page is available. So you can create a new ASPX page. So this is the right click, add new item. So you'll find a web form. I'm just giving the web form name as login.ASPX. This is my default structure. Let's give the title login to my key. Now here, let's divide the entire page into different sections. First will be my header, there will be left side, the one center, then one right side and one footer. So I require five divs. So I'll take a div tag. Let's give this ID as div header. My first div, second, third, fourth, fifth. This is my left div. This is my center div. This is my right div. And this is my let's say footer. So my form tag will be here in center div. And here you can take your controls such as Xbox controls. So you can identify your controls from the standard controls which is available in the toolbox. So let's take a text box control which will be here. Click on it, you'll find this text box, change its name to txt, username, provide placeholder, which is equals to the username. Similarly, just take the second text box with now you can have br. This will be enter password. But here one more thing is required text mode. Because we need to have some special character words for it. It should be password. This will be my txt password. So here yeah, we are simply designing a form, a login page, and we need to have one button also. So I'm taking a button control. This will again be a standard button control. So we'll find what is the difference between a normal controls and the standard controls. So here we have an ASPX. ASP colon with the text control as well as run at equals to server. So these are my server controls. The button change the text value for it. Just click this is login and change its ID to BTN to login. Format it properly, right click format selection. Now for each of this head devs, you can have something like say can have some header welcome to MIT. Now you can provide different styles for each of these divs. So what we want what is expected first one should be a full header second one should be a left side then we have a center big center and right right um, div and right and the footer section. So let's uh, give add the CSS for the same file. So add style sheet. So I'm giving the style sheet name let's say my CSS. So 
so I'm not providing anything to body but instead of that I'm providing this style for my div header so some of the important properties like float we are assigning the value to left and we, we need to have width which should be 100 percent then must have some height should be let's say 40 percent and we must set some colors background color let's give some display Similarly, for the left div, it can have some styles. So I'm giving for the left div float width. Now here, width will be divided. We are dividing 100% into three sections. So first, let's give this width as 30%. Height will be, let's say. 500 px background color you can if you want you can change the background color now for the right div we'll have oh sorry for the left div, center div we'll have 40 percent height will be same Let's change the background color to something else. Okay. Now let's change the div for the right one. So this is my right div. So here width will be now 30%. So this is 30, 40, 30. This is 100 percent you divided. Height will be same. You can change it to equal. Now the last one is last div is my div footer. So you can have properties. Width you have to do hundred percent height. Can give 100 px background color you can give let's say black now on this page we need to just attach that css so just drag it in the header section sure link will be there now let's see the execution of this page view in browser how your page looks like the different sections so your page looks like this so we need to just change the percentages so this height will be let's give this height to header height should be let's say 100 px so we we'll find this is there so this is a design page you can have some more changes for example this should be somewhere in the center so you can set the properties here for example padding top say so here this will be just moved a little bit to the down so you can set Height of the center to be 450. So based on this, now here this again requires 
left padding or you can have one more thing for day center you can assign this style align items center center you can have alignment so, okay. center you can give in login aspx for the day you can have some style plus to align contents This is the center alignment. Now this header, if you want it in the center, so again you need to provide a center tag over here. And this is center alignment. So this is, this is just a design design of your login page with the usage of div tags as well as the CSS. That's it. Thank you.